Hey YouTube, welcome back to Birds DIYs. Uh, I had a couple uh, things go on here at the uh, little tiny house, uh, but I'm gonna break those up into a couple different videos for you. Oh, as you can see, it uh, turned down. It got up to temperature. Uh, but this is my uh, Mr. Heater 18,000 BTU wall mount. Yeah, pilot light's still going. But that just means that it's up to uh, temperature uh, and it'll come back on once the root and temperature has dropped again. Uh, I, I, I just turned it on. I set it relatively high on three, but normally I just have it down on one because this is set to uh, heat up a minimum, uh, well, heat up a 700 square feet, I believe, uh, area. And I am, I am probably about 400 square feet, maybe less. Uh, but just want to go over and kind of show you what I did. It comes with everything you need to mount on the wall or the legs that are uh, right there for it. Um, these are some custom propane hoses I had ordered in uh, from the RV place. Uh, they got the uh, quarter inch threads hose quarter inch to a screw in style propane connection on the bottles uh, so i've got some other different ones on there right now because these hoses weren't in yet and i needed to get it going and these are going to allow me to hook up my 100 pound propane bottles later on but i'm going to show you what i got going on um i've come through the wall with three eighths uh flex pipe i've got a three eighths brass nipple this connection to the uh flex hose comes with the kit it was about 28 dollars for the three eighths flex hose uh, and it came with this brass fitting right here. Uh, the ball valve is a half inch. It's a half inch ball valve uh, on both ends. So you got half inch right here uh, with a half inch three eighths uh, black pipe nipple come into a half inch black pipe uh, T. I have a pipe plug on the front of it right here because later i'm gonna run the black pipe down the wall and over to the bathroom for the uh, uh the uh instant hot water heater um and then into the the bathroom on the front of that but i came through the wall and it's a eight inch long uh black pipe that comes to the black pipe t uh and it goes to the wall i just spray foamed around it i used a one inch uh paddle bit uh went around it and it literally you be uh, you're thinking half inch pipe uh one inch paddle bit uh you know oh my gosh it's gonna be a big old hole but it's not it literally is like a tiny gap all the way around that black pot for the outside diameter so it was perfect it was a perfect size um there's my uh little soapy water bottle uh that i sprayed all my connections and everything like that before i even turned it on and we got no leaks so let's go outside and it's still the room is nice and warm right now uh, so it might once after a while if it, it if the room temperature doesn't drop and it stays like that for a while It is gonna shut the unit off itself uh, it, it will it's gonna turn the pilot light off and so you'll just come back over here to uh, uh, To the gas valve and turn it to the off position. Let's go outside real quick and uh, let's Take a look What we got out here on the outside system. Oh, I need to make a step. Oh. Okay. So I built a, a little stand. Uh, we are 
I didn't have any more 4x4 four four posts, so I went, I've got 4x4, four 4x4, four, four four, and 2x4. Uh, if I had another 4x4, four four, I probably would have been great. It'd been just enough gap. Uh, but these are 31, in, 31 inches tall. Um, I've got my boards right here are 24 inches and my side supports are nine inches. Uh, I went to a RV uh, supply. I ordered in uh, the bracket for just at the moment uh, the, for the 20 pound bottles. So I've got the bracket, I ordered in the bar, um, the handle to hold the, the bar down. I, I actually forgot to order the nut that goes up under on the bar to hold the the uh, bracket that I ordered and the regulator. I forgot to order the nut that holds the bracket up so I could use my little wing nut to screw the bottles down. So I was kind of in a, a pinch. It was windy, it was cold, and I wanted to get it done. So, and I needed heat. So I just put my zip ties on for right now. I will clean that up later but like i said i forgot to order that that gosh darn nut that that holds the bracket up so i needed the bracket supported uh so there is my regulator and uh manual switch valve uh that i ordered in um, i got a 24 inch hose so what i got going on right here is it barely had a a hole like around the pipe i mean it was just like minimal but what I, the expander foam that bought was the large uh spray foam and i needed to make sure that it sealed good so i had this hard rubber and i cut a hole around it and i put it up against it and i sealed all around around here and into here i'm gonna trim all this off because i mean it's just stuck right here but like i said i literally just did this like a day ago uh, so, outside of the black pop, the 8-inch eight eight inch hose, uh, I've got the 90 turn, so it goes from half inch down to 3 8 because it goes 3 8 in this brass fitting up to the hose, up to my regulator and switch valve. Uh, right now, I got this bottle turned on. Okay, these are the hoses that I was talking about. The ones with these large plastic screw caps on here. And these only are about a foot long. Uh, the, the regulator already had these little brass adapters to take it down a quarter into here. So I didn't have to worry about getting a, a 3 8 connector hose. Uh, this bottle's turned off right now, and I'm on supply for this one. Sounds like... We're running some propane right now into the house. So, um, but I've got the screws and I've got this screw down into the top of it, and I've got it and I've got it secured, anchored into the side of the house. So this is not going anywhere. It's nice and level. Uh, my bottles are supported on here, and they're not falling off. We actually had some really strong winds and the bottles have been nice and secure and i like the setup i'm going to get an rv cover that goes over it to protect the bottles but i won't have this set up for very long because i want to change over to the 100 pound bottles which i will make a i will cut this i'm still i'm probably going to utilize this bracket but i'll cut it down to the bottom of the base to have those bottles sit up on there and I'll probably come out a little bit more to make sure it's all nice and secure. But like I said, I'm going to go with bigger bottles later. And uh, that's what I got done. Um, let's see. Let's go back in the house. Yeah, the heater kicked back on. And everything like i said it's a little bit warmer than i want it to right now so i'm gonna kick it down but literally this i mean it's it's nothing you, you turn it down 
and see two was too hot for it so it it, it cut the fuel back and everything like that but this is a fantastic heater and i love it let's go ahead and kick it to the off position and then there you go the flame dies out i come over here to my vat ball valve and i turn it on off it's not so secure so when i want to kick it on turn it to here turn it to pilot you see if i can do it with both hands here you press down and grab the igniter boom there it is and then you turn it from pilot to what you want and on three it wants to fire up i love this heater unit it gives it plenty of spacing off the wall i've got the spacers back here uh and i've got a wall bracket that puts it off the back of the wall and nothing no not even a hint of being warm uh it, it does a fantastic job so i just wanted to give you all an update for this uh mr heater propane uh ventless wall mounted heater uh it's a 18,000 btus and it is perfect thank you guys